Hi, you guys. So this is problem eight from chapter seven on um, on the natural response of a circuit of an RC RL circuit. And what we have here is we have a five amp independent source that's connected in parallel with um, a one ohm uh, one hundred ohm resistor, and um, so we have a and also a ten millihenry inductor. So, and then. At time one, these are all connected, and then at time zero, or excuse me, before time zero, they're connected, and they've been like this for um, enough time that they're in the DC steady state. At time two, the switch closes, disconnecting the inductor from the independent source and connects it with a resistor. We want to find the value of R such that at 10 microseconds, we still have 90% of whatever was the energy that was stored in the inductor at time zero. So that's our, that's our goal. And before you do that, let's take a look at what is happening before the switch closes at, in the DC steady state. We have a 5 amp independent current source, and the circuit looks like this. It's connected in parallel with a 100 ohm resistor and in the DC steady state the inductor is a short so what that means is that we've got this current source traveling in a loop like that charging up that inductor to the initial value of, um, of, uh, of energy whatever that energy is we're about to find out what the energy is so that we can solve this problem but it's charging it up and it has some initial um, some initial energy stored value now, when the switch closes and goes into that position, we have no connection any further to this independent voltage source, and the circuit looks like this. We have, now we have a con connection here, and we have um, some value, some initial value, maybe not of T, that is stored uh, in this inductor. And it's going to dissipate through that resistor. And at um, what we're trying to find is what um, what time at time. So we're going to say we want at time ten microseconds that this is still has still retains ten percent of its value. That's our goal. So um, and there's a specific value of resistance that will do that. What is it? Is it 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 ohms? We don't know. That's our job as engineers to find that and design that. So that's the problem, 10% at when time is um, 10 microseconds after the switch closes and disconnects from the independent uh, current source. So the steps to do that will be, first, we need to find the general energy equation for the inductor. After we find the general energy equation, we can set that equation to time zero and find out what is the initial value of, of energy that is stored in that inductor at time zero. We need that because knowing that, we can find, multiply it by 10.10 and find 10% of what's left. That was uh, part one of our problem is to find um, find um, the time, or not the time, but 10% at 10, at 10 microseconds. And once we know what that energy is, the, and we have the general equation, all we have to do left is solve for R. We have one equation, one unknown, unknown and we can solve for R. So, pause the video and try it on your own, and then turn it on when you're done, and check your answer to see if you got it right. Okay. So the general equation for energy, th um, for the natural response uh, of uh, an RL inductor, of an RL circuit is omega of T, or um, energy of an inductor is one half Li squared of T joules. And that's the general equation. So in order to know what that is, we need to find I. So I of T, I L of T is equal to, this is not something that I know off the top of my head, so it's going to be I naught, which is the independent current source times E to the negative R L of T. 
So basically, this is saying that whatever is the, the value of the current through the inductor is going to be this current source and um, value of R, L, and T. And so, let's find the general equation. Um, we have 5 amps through there, and of course this is in amps. E negative R, which is, in this case, 100. Um, no, actually, the general equation, this is for after the switch closes, so we're going to leave it R. We don't know what that is. We're finding that R right there, or that I. Um, and then, we're going to go over L, which is 10 millihenries times T. And that's the general equation. So, 1 divided by point of, okay, 1 divide that by 10e minus 3, okay? So when I do that, I get 5 is equal to negative, oops, 5e, come on, 5e, negative 100 R T amps is my I equation. So now that I have that, I can go back here and put that in and find a general general um, energy equation. So that gives me uh, 5 E to the negative 100 R T squared joules. Okay, and so we're going to go, in your calculator, you're going to put one half, 10 million Henry times 25 e to the negative 200 RT, right? All I did was square that and that. So let's see, one half times... 10e minus 3 times 25 gives me, for my general equation, when I put that through, it gives me 0.125e to the minus 200rt joules. Okay, that is my general equation for energy for inductive energy in this particular circuit. Um, now that I have that, I can find what the initial energy stored is. The initial energy is just energy at time zero. So energy at time zero will be 0.125 e to the negative 200 times r times zero joules. e to the zero is one, so that means at time zero I have 0.125 joules. Good. So now I have done that step. I found the general equation. That's um, I found the general equation. I found energy at time zero, and that is 0.125. Now the other piece of the puzzle is I actually I need to park that equation over here because I need to come back to it. 0.125 e to the negative. 200 RT joules. Okay, so um, at time zero I have 0.125, so at time zero that's equal to 0.125. And I need to find, I want to find what 90% uh, or 10% of my energy is left, so 10% of 0.125 joules is times, let me see, oh, my bad, my bad, it says find the value of R so that 10% of the initial value stored, 10% is dissipated, so 90% is left. Sorry, my bad, 90%. Okay, so 
We take 0 0.9 times uh, 0 0.125. That gives me 0.1125. That's how much is left. So my bad, if you actually followed these instructions, you would have gotten the wrong answer. So sorry about that. Um, you should actually set this to 90% because we, the problem states to find 90% energy remaining, 10% dissipated. So, um, so now we know that this is how much energy we want still remaining at 10 microseconds. And we have the general equation. The general equation is 0.125 e to the negative 200 rt. And now we can set that equal to what is remaining. Well, what is remaining is 0.125 joules. Okay? And we want to find r. And we know, and we want, we want to find it at omega um, t is equal to 10 microseconds. So we set t is equal to 10 microseconds. So our equation becomes 0.125 e to the minus 200 r times 10 microseconds. Set that equal to what we want is still remaining. And now it's just a problem of solving for r. In the exponent, I have negative 200 times 10e minus 6, and that leaves me negative 0 0.002, 0.125e to the negative 0 0.12340s. Is that right? One, two, no, only two zeros. 0.002 r is equal to 0.1125. And we want to solve for r. To bring r down, we take the natural log of both sides. 0.125. Well, first of all, divide both sides by 0.125. We'll give you e to the negative 0.002 r is equal to 0.1125 divided by 0.125 and that gives us some fraction that gives us 0.1125 divided by 0.125 will give us 0.9 so we, got, we take the natural log of that both sides Natural log. This will give me, that will bring the exponent down to negative 0.002 r is equal to natural log of 0 0.9. So r is equal to natural log of 0 0.9 divided by negative 0.002. Two. And when you put that into your calculator, natural log, natural log 0.9 divided by negative point double O two, you should get a value of R is equal to 52.68, 52.68 N. So that tells me that if I put in parallel with this 10 millihenry inductor, a 52, obviously, we don't have such a thing as 52.68 ohm resistor, but a 50, around 50, 52, 50 ohm resistor, that resistor will dissipate 10% dissipate of the initial stored energy at, um, by, at uh, 10 microseconds. So that's the answer to the problem, 52.68 ohms.